March 1995, a press conference called by Eric Cantona. Two months earlier, he'd launched a flying kick at a fan who'd insulted him during a game. Benched by his club, Manchester United, and stripped of the captaincy for the French national team, he narrowly avoided a jail sentence, but was banned from playing for eight months. At his press conference, he delivered a now legendary one-sentence statement. When the seagulls follow Chola, it's because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then he got up and left. At that moment, he became Eric Cantona. What makes us who we are? What decides what people think we are? Politicians, for example, say Donald J. Trump. Is it his unique form of diplomacy that defines his global standing? Or the way he wages war? Or is it his approach to a global pandemic? Or is it just the way he talks the talk? Relax, we're doing great. Since the crisis took hold, Trump has been holding press briefings up to two hours long, daily, to make an impression and boost his chances of a re-election later this year. We're doing a great job. We're, we are, this team is an incredible team. How is he faring? Some would say that his way of communicating could cost him the presidency. As the coronavirus pandemic continues, an increasing number of Americans are not happy about the way President Trump is responding. Trump loses his cool. Uh, sounds like a president whose back is up against the wall. And... Others think his style pays off. You're getting a man that's pretty entertaining and that can speak in solid gold sound bites that every single American can understand. Well, are Americans going to agree with Trump? Of course they are. Whoever you agree with, his press conferences could well be a game changer. That's a game changer. To me, that's a game changer. By the way, that would be a game changer. And where can you get some game changing advice? Look no further than football. <laughs> Players and coaches alike display their abilities week in, week out, and not just on the pitch. Talking to the media <laughs> could be a masterclass in influencing your own success by talking or laughing it up. <laughs> Fantastic! Being behind the mic can give you unimagined opportunities at what might otherwise be a pretty uneventful event. Testing one, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. So who are the people who really revel in that spotlight? There's this guy, for one. I prefer the sex. <laughs> Or this guy? I think I'm a special one. Or this guy? I'm the normal one. We'll show you how this trio of top coaches are the best in the business, masters of the press room, and have plenty we can all learn from. First, making your entrance is crucial. Our randomly selected politician takes the stage like this. Does this man look comfortable to you? Compare that with how our bosses take to the stage. Good afternoon. A smile to win over a room. Whatever you want. Guardiola is more statesmanlike. As is Mourinho. But what's that? <laughs> Journalists clapping? It looks like Klopp, Mourinho, and Guardiola have tailor-trained these reporters over the years. While the president basks in applause that isn't even there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The greeting is crucial. Trump plays it minimal, missing another opportunity to charm over his audience, while others prefer a more proactive approach. Hello. And more cosmopolitan. Hola. Klopp's I'm here to talk to you vibe is disarming from the off, as is this. Big silence. Preparing for difficult questions. 
This man knows about the power of words and the impact they have in this deceptively small arena. An impact all too familiar to Diego Simeone. After his Atletico Madrid side progressed against Liverpool in this year's Champions League, he felt comfortable admitting to the benefits of extra time. Nosotros tuvimos 30 minutos más que el Liverpool y es injusto, porque el gol nuestro tiene más importancia que el gol de ellos. Talk about a charm offensive, Simeone knew that the second he was gone, the reporters would be on their phones and laptops telling the world what a cool guy he is. Another master of the art of press conferences. Language is a crucial weapon in their arsenal, of course. Trump supporters admire his straight talking. I'm very highly educated. I know words, I have the best words. I have the be But there's no better word than stupid. The key here is being as agile with words as you are with the ball. With a repertoire ranging from the simplistic. Take the ball, pass the ball, take the ball, pass the ball. Diving for the swimming pool. <laughs> to the figurative. It was really difficult to s looking for glasses without glasses. And the philosophical. The truth is in the hole. It's always in the hole that you find the truth. They even quote Hegel. These guys know how to deploy which words and when. And if needs be, Guardiola can do it in five languages. To control the game, conditions buenas, malas. I hope in the next zeit, when tu non vince, mes control el moment just penalizarlo. At a press conference, they spread positivity. Happy they sing for their journalists. Happy birthday to you. Cheers, guys. And they get the press to join in on their parties. Cheers, Thank you. Thank you. They make them their buddies. Come on! <laughs> that they can manage. What was the question? <laughs> because it's best to keep your critics close. <laughs> At this point you could say, but how does that help the players on the pitch? In fact, they also know how playing with the media is part of their boss's job. And coaches translate that spirit onto the training ground and the stadium touchline. These PR Supremos use the press room arena as an amplifier. This is where we get them in undiluted, if not concentrated, form. <laughs> Jurgen Klopp seems born for press conferences and the camera in general. He's always there. He's always ready. <laughs> He's always authentic. Sorry. But not all smiles. We don't play PlayStation, eh? Do, do, do you think we, we, we didn't take enough risks today? In that, is, that, is that what you want to ask? I'm really dis uh, that's a really disappointing question, I have to say. Klopp's secret? He talks on camera like he would to one of us. I don't watch Jose Mourinho press conference, should I? <laughs> yes, because Jose Mourinho is even more of a maverick. I'm not Chelsea, I'm not United, I'm not Real Madrid, I'm not Inter. I am all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Calling Mourinho eccentric is an understatement. He has a different kind of knack for ruling the press room. Correct. <laughs> Absolutely correct. He's impossible to read, even if his face speaks volumes. Pandits are friends and they, they wear the same shirt as them, so ah, Oscar is a yellow card, this one, this one, uh, the ref... <laughs> <laughs> Mourinho can play hardball. And I won more premierships alone than the other 19 managers together. And then reward his audience with a Jose-esque quote. Be happy with the others' happiness, even if the others are your enemies. Pep Guardiola is less of an extrovert and more of a perfectionist and not quite as affable. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> Of our trio of trainers, he doesn't quite have the same connection at a press conference. But he exudes intelligence. And he excels in one department. Respect. Guardiola does more on the mic to praise his opponents. No, my first words is uh, congratulations for the Liverpool, for the victory. Uh, it was a good game, football game. 
a tool, like when he praises Klopp. I like a lot the, the way they play, but uh, I like a lot because for the spectators, for the because in three, four seconds they are attacking. Maybe it's the, the best, the best manager in the world. Did you hear that? For the spectators. It's for the spectators. So between the lines, he's actually and respectfully saying, Klopp's style isn't my style of football. Respect, respect, man. All three know respect and humility make a good impression. People were amazed. These gentlemen, everybody was amazed that I did it. We had 21 people in a room. Everybody was against it but me. Humility is a virtue commanded by the true masters. Some critics say Guardiola's success is primarily down to him always having top-rate squads. His response? I completely agree with them. I completely agree with them. I said many times I win because these guys are incredible players. I was a lucky guy, I'm sorry. I was lucky. The trick is Guardiola insisting he's not important is exactly what illustrates his dignity. Something Jurgen Klopp practically made his own trademark. I'm a totally normal guy. I'm, I'm the normal one. And Mourinho? This was his debut before the press at Tottenham. I was always humble. The problem is that you didn't understand that. For all their modesty, these masters of the press conference can always resort to the more brutal option, attack. I say that you're a terrible reporter. I'm the president and you're fake news. Not everyone is an ace in the art of attack. But our media maestros master it with their eyes closed. <laughs> I think this question is a little bit disrespectful, to be honest. Check out Guardiola. Like, uh, look at me when I talk to you. Yeah, look at me when I talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, but, no, but I'm talking to you, you don't look at me, you look that. So I am, I, I am trying to explain. He smiles while having a go at the reporter and immediately explains why he's been unfriendly and all the time looking his target in the eye. But sometimes being blunt is the only way to go. So. Click Google. Instead of make stupid questions, click Google and try to find. But Mourinho can also be a charmer. In cold tunnels after the game, freezing, you are going to be there all the time, man. <laughs> Life could be worse. Could be worse. You are a good guy. You are one of the good ones. Jurgen Klopp likes to turn questions back onto the reporters and defence into attack. Yes, there is odd. What do you think? And there's always sarcasm. If somebody has an interesting question, it would yeah, be really nice. <laughs> OK, these gents are masters of the press conference. Although when it comes to sheer impact, the real trailblazer was this guy. When the seagulls <laughs> follow Chora, it's because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea. Thank you very much. 21 words from a footballer. When the seagulls follow the trawler, it's because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea. Thank you very much. And whatever it was that he was trying to say, it just goes to show that press meetings can save or relaunch a career. A sip of water. Genius. Cantona, he knew. Thank you very much. <laughs> he gave the football and wider world something to think about in a short but surreal press conference. 21 words that marked a milestone for his legacy. Now everyone knew who Cantona really was. A 13 second press conference. And since then, he's featured in big name music videos been immortalized in art, starred in commercials, the taste is supreme. and even in a movie, playing himself, of course. I'm not a man. I am Cantona. Cantona's example shows that what you say can define who you are. When somebody's the president of the United States, 
the authority is total. Perhaps even the US president could learn something from our little expose. After all, it's not so important what people think when you come in. It's much more important what people think when you leave. Thank you.